Guys, this is Farm with Probox with Spared TKO. I'm at York Hall, London with Young Finder, Fighter, sorry, Sam McNess, super well to wait. Sam, how you doing? Good, thank you. Yeah? Been all right. Good, yeah, yeah, good, mate, except for the rain outside. Um, you know, but that's, uh, that's UK weather for you. Um, Sam, just for the viewers, uh, you're super well to wait. This is your seventh fight. You're undefeated, six and oh, three KOs. Um, huge venue, isn't it? Copper Box now, yeah? Yeah, this will be the biggest venue that I've fought on as a professional, so really looking forward to it. There's going to be a lot of people there supporting me. There'll be over 300, so wow. it's going to be a big following. And obviously, with the, uh, the other support from the other fighters on the card, there's going to be a lot of people there. Can't wait. I've only met you a few times, but from what I hear from a lot of people in the industry, you're a very likeable guy. So was uh, did you have to really push those tickets, or did they just sort of fly out the not door? Not really. Uh, <laughs> I'm a big West Ham fan and after yep. my last performance I think I put a post on and a lot of West Ham fans saw my last performance and they saw I wear, wear the colours and I think they just want to get behind me and support me so yeah, yeah that's, that's all it is really, just a lot of West Ham fans and obviously the people that have been support me before before my last performance. Yeah, that was a, that was a good performance. Um, I was there at the Harrow Leisure Centre, right? So yeah, it was a good performance from you. If I remember correctly, was it a stoppage win? It was, it was a second round stoppage. Second round stoppage, yeah. How's the training camp gone for you in this one? It's gone brilliant, it's, it's been long, it's been about 10 weeks. Uh, I was training ticking over before that as well, but... That's right. Yeah, it's been brilliant. I've had a lot of good sparring, good quality sparring against experienced professionals. Um, Bradley Ski, Larry Ekendayo, more to mention, but yeah, it's been brilliant. Br good, good, good guys there. You mentioned you're a big West Ham fan, so have you been sort of training down at the uh, West Ham uh, boxing gym as well, uh, with Barry no. Smith? Uh, we've, we've popped down there a few times to, um, to spar with Larry because that's where Larry trains. That's right. But, uh, we, was, we, we used to train out at that gym about a year ago but we moved to the Peacock. Okay. So I train at the Peacock gym there. You're at Martin Barrow's place there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's good. A lot of good, good guys down there as well. Um, just want to give a quick shout out to Mark Tibbs who's your trainer. Somebody I know, he's a really, really good guy. Um, as you said, he's due down now as well. Um, so what, have, you, have you prepared anything different for this fight with Mark at all? Uh, not really, no. Uh, we've just been doing what we always do, just work hard in the gym, get some great experience sparring and you know, that's it, that's, that's just what we do. I listen to Mark and I listen to what he tells me to do and I trust him what he... Yeah, you better. Especially with Mark. Um, with, with your opponent, Zavadors, I think that's his name, um, do you know much about him? Um, I've seen a few clips of him, I've not really looked too much into him, if I'm honest with you. I know, um, one of, the, one of the boys that Jimmy trains for Freddie Turner. I know Freddie fought him in his last fight right. at Brentwood, I think it was. That was it, yeah. Yeah, uh, I know he fought Freddie and he went a distance over six, so that's, that's all I know really. I've looked at a few clips, but yeah, it should be good. Looking yeah, I know, I, I interviewed uh, Freddie and Tommy Martin actually after, the, after that fight, and uh, I think he's a real durable guy, this one. Yeah. Uh, but you know, you, you, like I said, I was at your last fight, you look very strong, very powerful. Um, so are you gonna, you gonna, do you know what you sort of, with this fight, you're just gonna press ahead or are you gonna try and uh, we'll see. We have a look box behind the, the jab a little bit? Yeah, we'll start off behind the jab. We always do have a look, have a look at our, our opponent and we'll go from there, come back in the corner. That's, I mean, that's it. That's Fee, it. That's feel it. him out a little bit, see, yeah, see yeah. where you go from there. Yeah, um, so. Excellent. Listen, I know you've got to prepare yourself. We're at the uh, workout here at your call. Um, huge, huge undercard as well, isn't it? It's really talent packed. Um, just for the viewers, if they don't know, it's uh, Javon Davis versus Liam Walsh. Yeah. Uh, Floyd Mayweather, he's going to be here as well, isn't he? Apparently so, yeah. Apparently so. He's going to be here tonight, so. Yeah. Yeah, it should be good. Good night. Yeah, it should be a good night here tonight. Uh, quickly before we go, mate, I know you wanted to give a shout out to your sponsors as well, didn't you? Yeah, is it okay to uh, shout out Technical Drain Solutions, Dave Murphy? He's my first sponsor now. He's been supporting me all the way from the start, so I want to thank him. His support really helps. And also Tony Hook at Accomplished Contract Services. Uh, he, he also sponsors me, and I mean both of their support. It, I wouldn't be able to train train full time and dedicate my life to boxing if it wasn't without them two people. So I want to thank both of you. Yeah, as you said, you got you got a lot of people coming on Saturday night, mate. Uh, from me to you, all the best. I'm sure you're going to do really well, and look forward to Saturday night. Yeah. Thanks, Sam. Take Thanks. care, mate.